One of his signature heroes, the Morphlingoid mid, Yamate the Viper top, and that will put Net on the Shadow Shaman. Batrider bought a TP at level 1, and he did place an aggressive Observer Ward here, mostly just to, I think, scout out Banana, but also, I believe, does block the camp as well. Meanwhile, on newbie side, they're one win away here from a, a slot in Key Arena, Xiao Ei. It's going to be on up top with Tai Hunter. I do want to actually take a moment and the talk about his begins. item build. He's gone Boofers. Last game, he went, I believe, 8 Tangles and a South, <laughs> looking to trade a lot of hits with that Bristleback, but this game, Looking to Vey quite a bit from the supports coming in. Mid lane is going to be Moose Invoker. We'll see exactly how it's going to do against that Morphling. And then we have Banana in the jungle with Enchantress. His support duo will be Shansham playing the Rubik. And last but not least, Hao will be playing that Luna. Uh, Moo actually whiffed his block a bit here. So this is going to give KOX a really easy first wave. And, and with that, going for the early Wraith ban, he should have a, a pretty easy time securing the bottle, as you can see. Up on the high ground, Moo actually still denying nicely, but... KYXY is going to be happy about that. We see Extinct roaming around. He did throw Fissure down bottom just to help uh, the block for Ohio. And now Ohio finds himself very close to the wave. He already pops the Firefly. And he just doesn't want to deal with this harass. In fact, how? He's trying to run him off the lane. This is... He's even missing out on last hits here just to try and zone. Yeah, I'm not sure what a that is. Uh, he comes back just in time. Looks like he won't miss any. I mean, that's a really big commitment into trying to shut down this bat early. Yeah, it's zoning... I guess it's fine. Honestly, as Luna, you generally don't even need to walk forward because your aura gives your support the extra plus damage. And that's often all you really need, but I actually see him committing to that help. But back in the mid lane, like you predicted based on the block at the very least, KYXY is leading this uh, CS war by quite a amount. Yeah, and it's also to be expected anyway because Morphling can just take a morph at level 1 and have way more damage than the Invoker. Right now, he's sitting on a decent pile of strength and, and Mu has gone for the Null Talisman build, so... He actually last hits pretty well, but I think this is a matchup where the early levels should favor the Morphine a bit, but all things considered, you got to be happy if you're Mu. Here comes the Enchantress, Banana. He's found two creeps. He's found the Dark Troll Summoner as well as a Clapper in the air, so the Hellbear Smasher, as we now call it, and they make their move towards mid. The net creep's about to expire, though, so this is not going to be an easy gank. I think mm, yeah. mid is not going to work. Yeah, mid is... That's a, unless the Morphine waves in the farm, and is out of mana the strength morph. That's the only the way I see them getting Or he strength, a strength morph and loses mana for his waveform. There's that too. There's our ruin. And it's gone bottom, unfortunately. They were checking a top for newbie, but won't find anything. So Banana says, you know what? That smoke doesn't work. I've got another. I can just go offensive jungle. I think they really want to try and pick apart the, the weak link in the laning stage to me is the Shadow Shaman for Titan, but he's got backup now with the EF. He could also be going for the Courier Snipe. The Courier is going south. It's, it's chilly enough to play. Okay. Looks like they're going to make it go on the top lane here. Looks like Fissure's going to go off, and Xiao is blocked first in. He, this is going to be the first blood. It's going to go through to the Viper. Perfect Fissure from Extinct. They just cut him from the side. That didn't even need it as a smoke. And Banana is still camping mid, so nice first blood. And, and this was what we talked about with the Earthshaker, was a well-placed Fissure not only can protect your team from dives, but just easily set up first blood. So they're still waiting. I, I think looking for the Courier at this point. KYXY is low on mana, though. And they know this, so maybe they think they can jump in before the, the Courier brings back his bottle. Earthshaker's coming in, but there's only one creep available, and it's not exactly a kill creep. Like, it helps you stun, but it, it, this Fissure's gonna block again! Banana no has... No mana for wave, though. Okay, yeah. No mana for wave. Nice, uh, nice aggression coming out from Invoker Dragon back. Ohio was coming in as well, but uh, I gotta say, Extinct right now is putting in a lot of work on that Earthshaker. The other thing is that Mu, despite getting the worst block, is really doing quite well in this matchup. He's already 16 and 5. KYXY, I think just the threat of the Enchantress is hurting him. He's a little bit nervous to approach the wave, and that means Mu having the, the better early roam it, it can be more aggressive because his supports threaten a lot more. So in the end, they, they dodge a bullet there. If they had mana for waveform, that's definitely a kill, and, and that would put Titan in good shape. I think that's the point where the mid lane becomes even, but without it, the Morphling does fall up the behind. I still love Titan's mid game. We talked about this in the draft a little bit, but you've got Bat and Morphling, so they can just find pickoffs all over the map as we see Banana rotating through, but this will be a tough kill in Ohio. Can they find him? Uh, there's a trap available, but he can find play over the cliff. Yeah, I, just, I think with Bat and Morphling, you can kill almost anyone around the map, and on top of that, you can also split push. They have multiple avenues. You can drop the wards at one tower, send the Morphling on another. If they get through this laning stage intact and they don't lose too many towers to the Luna Enchantress combo, I really like Titan's mid game. Yeah, so far with a 1 0 score favoring Titan, I, I would say so. And if you look at Shadow Shaman's experience, he is level 3 and half. He's actually taking down some big camps. 
500 though is the only part of his experience. Uh, I think the key here for newbie, like you said, is to take down the early towers as well as go for a couple Denied. kills. And Titan, they just hang tight, get get levels, and then just secure the mid game because their mid game is fairly scary, especially with a Shadow Shaman on Dire side. That Roshan would be theirs guaranteed. And they've got Morphling who also hits pretty hard. So yeah, completely agree with you there. And the other thing is. Going for Earthshaker's last pick gave them something they didn't really have much of before, which is a way to stall Dyer's when the push comes. Tower is under we haven't attack. seen it yet, but Titan are grouped up in the jungle for now. There's a smoke available on Extinct. I wonder if they even bring in Ohio. He's not sitting bottom, though, as the wave pushes in, which means there's no tower defense here. At least not for now. The skeletons march through the Dyer's river. The centaur conqueror fortified. comes around from the side, and now the smoke. Titan onto the mid lane, wrapping up the hill, Dyer's looking for moves. Tower this is a, is a very easy kill if they catch him out. They drop an observer as well, and now they know exactly what moves up to. If he walks down, he's actually sending a forge spirit. Just blocked net for a split second there, but I don't think Moo noticed. Now the Fissure. Oh, this is not good for Moo. Fissure, they're not even going to drop it just yet. They start with the wave, they'll follow it up. They block it, not perfectly, but well enough. And net, the Sun Strike, uh, was a good effort, but he goes the other way. Straight up towards the ramp, and they won't find the return kill. Titan once again striking. They do lose a tier 1 bottom is the trade. Yep. That's... You almost had it. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Some technical difficulties in the room here, <laughs> as we just got ganked by an ad. But it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> uh, we ganked. Uh, we got ganked by an ad, like how newbie just got ganked. Made. But all things looking pretty well. If you look it over to uh, Yamate, that mech is. Uh, is he done with it? Yeah, he is. That's a really fast mech. We are six minutes in. His CS is not even that high. Like. If he, you got first, he got the first ball though. Yeah, okay, that's that's where he makes it up. But even so, yeah, that's, he just roughed it. He didn't upgrade, he didn't get a rid of Aquila, he didn't get anything. No upgraded treads, just straight in the mech, but... Well, so much for winning the five-man fights, I feel, for newbie at this point. But you already have Fissure, which is not quite as good as Ravage, but still quite useful in the, in the engagements. And with the early mech, this might be where Titan can actually trade towers. Mm -hmm. So maybe they give up the, the bottom tier two, but they go for a tier, tower two of their own. And with that being said, newbie, smoke again. The ping comes out from Sung Shung, but they're just going to head towards mid. They want to slow down this Morphling, it looks like. They can get this kill with Cold Snap Sunstrike, but it's a difficult one. I mean, your kills are on the other heroes. There's Extinct just hanging out there, so it's it's so easy for him to throw down a Fissure, and that would be the end of that. And meanwhile, they're buying some very valuable time for Ohio, who is just jungling. This is his second stack camp, and... Uh, He's still quite far away from that blink dagger, especially at eight minutes. But both teams are going top now, and there's Ravage ready for Shao Wei. Oh. Actually, gonna find Extinct on the low ground, but he just fissures and he retreats. Banana can slow him with an enchant. Just out of range. Now the other Yamate. He's got the mech. He is isolated here. I don't think he can live through this much. They'll have to kill the Ravage if they want to kill him. They'll let it fly, and in comes the Luna as well. They bring four top. Yamate really could have just backed there. Even if they lose a support, I just I don't think you go in regardless. But. Yeah, I wonder if that's a miscommunication. That was a very good fissure block, but to me that looked like a retreating fissure block, which it was for, for at least the two supports. I think even if you're going to lose your support, you still just back there if you're out Yamate. Yeah. There's no reason to risk that. That is a, a free farm viper, mech down, eclipse ready. And newbie starts to push. This is kind of LGDN style, where you just push the, the enemy safe lane with your Luna. Yeah. If and you go back a, a year or so. And I think that's where he really becomes a hero as well. But here comes the teleportation. They want how dead. Other Ravage. Ra Shall we? He's already got use of Ravage. How it looks like he's going to drop his ultimate, but there's a lot of creeps hanging out. Sunstruck not hitting anything. They're going to give chase to Banana. That's two stacks so far. And Banana looks like he's going to run away from the rest of his team. He is going to suicide and buy as much time as possible for his team. Ne no, looks like he's going to go down net. Well, all that was going on was actually fighting it out with a Satter, and the Satter had a blast, but it looks like Banana wasn't able to micro it. He could have killed it, but didn't even go for the parting shot, so uh, pretty unfortunate there for Nubi, and that's the power of the fast mech. Without that, I think that's an even fight, or teams just retreat, but with it, Titan persevere. They don't lose anyone in round two of the engagement, and, and they make their way out, so yeah. some, some miscues from Nubi, but just, <laughs> more than anything, that's just uh, a six-minute mech to me is maybe even better than having Ravage as far as your team fight goes. It's damn close, that's how good it is. Yeah, and the fact that he could just nullify the, sure, the Ravage, enough. give everybody plus armor, it's pretty good. Well, I mean, with LGDN, they normally take those towers. At least that's how they like to run it, but uh, they're not able to do it. Titan holds strong, and now they can go towards the mid-game feeling pretty confident. Newbie have only taken one tower and nine minutes in with an Enchantress and a Luna. It's not too bad. They're going to have the Necro book for Mu at a reasonable time. He said he had 42 CS. The Midas is online now and they still have some access to late game here, but...
They really want to be playing with a, a significant advantage. Because you're up against Bat Morphling and Shadow Shaman on the Dire if this goes late. And that is just such a good lineup. You have access to Roche, you can split push. And frankly, late game is always going to be on your side with the Bat. Yeah, that is true. Though I, I think it is not nearly as bleak as it was for the for Titan last game comparatively. Yeah. Newbie have a lot better late game this game than Titan did last yeah. game. Yeah, I mean, late, late game initiation wise, they have in theory two Ravage, a very hyper carry in the form of Luna. You have a hex carry in the form of Invoker, and Invoker could be a carry in the form of Ned, gotta be careful here. Uh, the double damage ring denied, and now the Ford Spirit will try to chase him down a bit, but you do see how squishy the Shadow Shaman is. Look at these a creeps by Banana. If one towards the top lane, just kind of scouting out for movements. Uh, the Ford Spirit was dogfighting in the river, so Banana trying to make his presence felt all over the map, even if his hero remains in one location. I would say this is a unsuccessful Enchantress game, though. Yeah, I would agree. Have only taken one tower, haven't really found any kills at all. They did get the kill top on the Viper, but that was more just Yamate misplaying than yep. anything else. Although, I think with that said, though, maybe it's really just the Earthshaker. Because a lot of times, whenever Enchantress is ganking, Earthshaker's always there with the Fissure, so... And that's what we discussed in the draft, is you pick the Earthshaker, and they need a D-push. It also just makes it so difficult to tower dive. You don't want to catch yours at their tower. You you can do that some games, but I think this game you need to find them away from towers. And here comes the smoke from Newbie. How? Sunshine and Banana all clumped up. They're going towards mid, and they want this Morphling kill. Uh, which way do they go? No, they're going to wrap towards the, the top side. Do they even bring in Chow for this one? How, He's how are they going to stun from. him? They've got the lift. Cold snap in the lift. I, I feel that's the only way they can lock him down. But he's got strength morph. Yeah, they're, they're going to need the sun strike burst. They need everything. Maybe Eclipse. Eclipse can do it as well. All right, we'll see if they're going to get the angle, because right now, if you look at Ohio, he's getting closer and closer. In fact, he's got the blink dagger. Oh, uh, he's still wave form. That's a little bit extra burst for sun strike. Feels one of the best Rubik abilities, but no, Banana. This is not where he wants to be. Up on the high ground now, caught by the shackles. Instantly canceled. Sunshine waves in. Lifts net, just drops him straight down. Looks like they don't want to actually engage onto that. So, some miscues here, but in go Newbie for the tower. They've got the Luna arm. Already three points in it. A tight Newbie force to defend. Is there a blink on that? Yes, there is in Ohio. Heads towards mid. There's no Rasta wards, no Shadow Shaman ultimate as of yet. Unfortunately, if you blink it, you're going to just get ravaged, so. I don't think they can actually defend this tower, and Titan smartly backs up. Has I think Batrider, he reaches his peak once he gets his four stack. Radiant's and at that point, there's nothing, nothing that Newbie can do about it. The, the only thing that he needs to be on that is BKB. At which point, Newbie, they really have, they have literally no answer for a BKB four stack initiation from Bat. There's just nothing they can do, unless Rubik like, steals, steals the lasso, lasso and yeah. lassos him. But yeah, that would let's be, be honest, that's, that's a very unlikely play. So I think Titan are okay. They just... The good good push by Newbie, but now they just look for pickoffs with the bat. You get your Shadow Shaman wards, maybe try and sneak a Roche, but you don't want to give up more towers. And they, they will, it looks like Radiant's they will be defending the top lane. Is under yeah. attack. This is the place to defend, though. You just you just got the blink, nobody's seen it yet. The problem with that now is Tidehunter, he's going to just stand in the front line. There's a lasso, but Shao H just chilling. You can't go on the Tide. No, you're giving him a free blink if you do that. There's so many fights. In this particular TI that I saw a last two on Tide, and Tide is like, okay, well, yeah. I guess I pressed my ult. That is, he is arguably the worst last two target in the game. Oh, they're going for illusion here, and they actually blow everything. He wants like come in though. He wants to fight. Rabbit's gonna come out. Looks like the waveform's gonna get hit on the end of it. KY Flight still dropping low. Net's gonna come in. He gets one kill. Looks like he's gonna die as a result, but he picked up level six before that. And I think that fight is over at this point. It's time for Newbie to retreat. Waveform's gonna sit get one more kill. That's a two for one blink in. Ohio Fissure's gonna clip, another Fissure comes out, and Shansha will die as a result. Ohio looks like he's gonna drop quite low as well, but a huge victory for Titan. That's without the Shadow Shaman Ward. Sun Strike, oh, KOX by too tanky. That's without the ward. Shadow Shaman just hit level 6, and they still wrecked them. Yep. That is, that is the power of Replicate, I suppose. Well, they, did, they didn't just throw a few spells at it. They threw <laughs> three clips at it. At it. The, the surprising thing is that KYX is like, yeah, I'm going to go in. No problem. I'm a Morphling. I got Strength Morph. That was a ballsy play. That's the type of that's the type of play that can flat out cost you a game, to yeah. be honest. Game's still even in terms of golden experience, but we have to remember, Newbie currently sitting on a two-tower advantage, which means Titan, they can claim those towers later on. They're always going to be there. Any creeps you miss now, you can't. You don't have a second shot come later, so I think Titan actually in a, a really good position here. 
Well, I think Titan is about to get a couple more towers because Net is level six. He's ganking with the rest of his team. I like the fact that they made or, or a Roche. No, no, they're going for gank. Yeah. I, I think I think this is where you get a gank and get a tower. And Who do you want here? Looks like they're gonna find Net. Banana is just not for you. They lasso. They're just yeah. gonna sit there and just go. And there's no trade for newbie. They give up the enchanters and now they can go bottom with the wards. Yep. And I think if you're Moo, you just march down mid. Like you're like, well, we're gonna lose our bottom tower. Let's just do what we can on mid. But he backs off actually. Poor Viper. Gets the Viper strength stolen. The other thing that Sunshine, I, this could be a big Rubik game. Uh, we've seen there's a lot of good spells to steal. Fissure, Lasso maybe later on. Viper Strike's a guaranteed skip, steal. There's literally no way to prevent it because it's the only spell you can steal. Waveform and a, and Strength Morph, which we haven't seen yet, are very powerful Rubik. So. And after you get Strength Morph, Adaptive Strike is uh, amazingly and good. And the Shaman one. So I think this is a game where Sunshine can make big plays for Newbie. But he doesn't really have much farm right now. We're looking at a 2100 net worth Rubik. Needs to find that Blink Dagger. And well, newbie group up top, but there's going to be a bit of a defense here. Extinct walking into an Observer Ward, now gets caught, and, and that'll be the death of the Earthshaker. They might find the trade, though. If Fissure comes out, we'll stop trying to steal this. Okay. Oh, actually, oh, Fissure's going to go. That's going to hit on a high out one down, but then, oh, the Death Flash actually pushes back on the Fissure. Here comes KYXY. He waves in. He needs to replicate out, because here comes the Ravage. He needs to get out now, and he doesn't. Wow, the beams are just tearing him apart. Well. Stolen Fisher definitely helping out in that fight, but also just a great lane ward by Newbie to begin it. And with that, they lose the Earthshaker. You've now got a... And now you've got a tower for Newbie. And they did trade already. I guess they've taken the tier 1 bottom lane, but Newbie... Like, with no Ravage, he's probably just take this tier 1 back off. They're not going to go for 2 yet. Yeah, I'm surprised at the fact that Titan chose to take that fight because they didn't have the wards. They just used it for the tower. And at worst, you just get a tower for tower trade. But I don't think they wanted the team fight. They just got caught with the Earthshaker, and they're like, ah, let's try and save them. Yeah, that's fair. Tower yeah. has been but well, when you go in to save them, <laughs> you team fight. Yeah, yeah. The going in to save them part is the, the part that's a little bit tough. And KYXY, for a second time in the fight, replicates in. I don't think he could do that anymore. Oh, Sunstrike, Sunstrike. Net on the top lane almost dies to it, but... No, they'll salve him up. <laughs> Actually surprised they're giving still salve in this game, but... He's working towards a Blink Dagger. We saw... Let me ask you, what do you think about AUI 2000's build on the Shaman, where he just rushes the Ag straight away instead of going for something like a Blink? I think in that particular game, was that the Meeple game that we... Yeah, was, the, I, was it just to, so you can split push faster and stall? No, I think in that game, you know the enemy tie was going to jump you, at which point all you have to do is stay alive. You don't want to Blink into a team initially. I don't think that was the game for it. Uh, I actually think uh, the Aghanims is underutilized. Most of the time, you pick the Shadow Shaman as a way to initiate because he gives you the blink. But sometimes, when that is not an option, you just you just play for your wards. All well, the wards come down, and shall we? No Ravage for 50. So the Titan are going to play around this. They'll take the two one hit, and every time the wards are up, we're going to see a tower fall. If they play this, their cards right here. The one tricky thing for Titan right now is they don't have that much physical damage, and they're up against the Luna with BKB. So they've got to be very cautious about how they engage when Ravage is online. But I think if they play this right, Lumi, they just split push, drop the wards to take towers. You, at some point, you maybe try and sneak a Roche with the wards, and you just angle for late game. You've got the bat morphling combo. Yep. At some point, supports are going to be food. Your Rubik right now at 700 health. The Enchantress with about the same, 830. So, Newbie are, to me, the ones that have to make th things happen. And, and we see that now. They smoke up towards top. They're going to show how in the lane, and well, it might be the Amate they find. He's way out. No tier one, no backup, gets gushed. This should be the death of the Viper. Well, here Backup's comes. coming though. So Ohio's here. Gotta get it with the last one. They're gonna they sweat a lot. They steal the Viper Strike and Ohio throws out a flame break. The him. Mac AB is very tanky. Sun Strike finishes the job. And but that's a 10 second BKB. If I'm Yamato, it's like, alright, I die, but. Why do you BKB for that? Uh, exactly. Good question. Maybe. Well, he did see Ohio coming. Maybe he's worried about getting lassoed, but. Titan were just so far away from him. And he had his whole team there with Ravage. That's a. A little strange. Right, he saw Ohio coming, but he didn't see anybody else coming, so... I think he saw the PS and the Shaman towards the end, but you have tied right next to you with Ravage. Yeah, so... Well, either way, 10 second BKB for a, a Viper. It's still a core hero and a fairly, fairly far one as well, so I think it's still not a bad trade for Nubi by any means. Well, I think what is a bad trade is that you look over to the Shaman, he's got Blink, and then you look over to the offlane Tide, and he doesn't have Blink. In fact, he's very far away from that Blink. Well, he went back first, so... I think we'll give Xiaoyi to pass on this one. He could have Blink. I think when you're trying to counter initiate, 
against a bat rider, especially now that he's got a, a four staff as well as a shaman with a blink hex. You do need a blink to get in. Yes. Yeah, you, you really do. And but that's not even going to work once Ohio gets BKB. And to me, that's honestly the most important item for Titan to get this game is a BKB after the force on bat. If they can get that. There is literally no answer for his initiation. Well, there's no answer for the bat per se, but let's say the bat pulls, I don't know, your Luna into the enemy team. You can still ravage the enemy team and thus protect your, your Luna in that sense. That's true. That Maybe they can't protect that one hero, but they can ravage go for a trade. Yeah, yeah, there you go. But uh, Xiaoe, though, with that three ancient stack, he's suddenly up to 1600 gold, so scratch that. He is very close should they win this fight. And I'm surprised that they actually go for the fight without the blink. They could actually just turn back and farm, but they, they feel that they have the Necro 3, they have the Chantress. They're gonna just hold this tower down. It's gonna be a blink into Ohio, but he doesn't actually go for anyone. Then he gets completely oh, no. wrecked. Newbie, well prepared for that. Newbie's position is good. They went all the way towards the left side, and now they go in for more. They find KOX line. They'll we'll force him back. And I mean, hold on, is this a Rax push? Yeah, are, are they going high? They do have the book for some time. The Necro book's still available. The Ford Spirits are here. I think more than anything, they want to force the buy back out of third one, but that actually doesn't have it. Yeah, it's forced out the glyph, though. I don't know if they finish the base, but they may be able to take them to the illusion. The replicate being used nicely, Sunshine stole that. That's going to aid in the push. At least they take regular damage. They don't take bonus damage like other illusions. Oh, initiate from the back line. Net comes in right now. He wants Shan Shang to ward. It's going to get a kill. He trades the support for support. The wolves right here. Looks like it's going to be left to farm. That's worth it. Not only do you get the kill, but you add the push. Yeah. But this does give Titus Blink. Now shall we Blink, Arcane, and Mech. Arguably, priority number one on when you go on newbie, but they really don't have an answer for Kraken Shell. You know, without a doubt, that I think I agree with you to say that Titan has probably the better late game with the initiation, but if you make one mistake, this you is don't a get team- to, You don't get to go late. Yeah, this, this is a team that will just break your high ground. We saw how dangerous that push was, and that's- Yep. That's not even all of it, because a man's style, I imagine, is coming very soon on how. Book three with Luna R is no joke. That's for sure. Well, and they the go bottom. They're looking for these lasso targets, but Banana's already retreating to the tier two. Ravage is available. They just need to get Mon off on their Tidehunter. He already blinks back to base, and, and you can see Banana retreats Radiant's very bottom deep. Tower is under now, attack. We've, we've talked a lot about how good the bat pick can be this game, but Newbie are not giving openings. When they, when they show themselves on the map, it's as four or five, and otherwise, I mean, you Radiant's can't go on this, right? So is under they're, just, they're playing it really well against the bat. Also, let's not forget Shang Chung as uh, a Rubik could instantly disable the bat if he has a telekinesis on the ready. Yeah, there's no BKB yet. And that might not come for some time. But speaking of BKBs, Yamate works towards one. And that is the one thing for Titan is, if they get mass BKBs, all newbie have is the right click of Invoker and the Luna, who's only got a Yasha for now. Well, I mean, you have the Necrobooks too. Yeah. Which I actually no. think they have more than enough physical damage. If they're able to focus fire one target, I would agree. We'll see. For now, just the BKB on the Viper coming out. Newbie, grouping up and, and rotating towards the pit. I think that actually, as we see so again, they make a right bottom now. lane. Ohio comes in and he thinks better of it and he gets gushed. Shall we keep going this soon? He's got a blink tagger cooling down. We'll try and push him back and this will buy time for the bat to jump away. There's a there's a net hiding in the trees by the way. He has a blink. He's not gone for the early egg. Yeah, this is uh I mean you could argue this is the game to not go blink as well. In the sense that you know the tide's gonna jump, you know they're gonna push. The, the book three was used very early. I don't know if they want to push it. They also the Viper BKB uh -oh. is available, and I don't think this has been scouted out yet. He can TP in and tank a lot. He might even try to bait out a Ravage here. Let's see if Newbie Rick can show the top lane out for watching. They let the tower go. They're going to settle for a high ground defense. Look at what Ned is doing. He's drawing the wave. <laughs> oh, man. Well, the push is over, says Ned. You might get a tier two, but that's where it ends. Well played. Well, I think he needs to get out now. Maybe Epi shot one time and then. Alright, just the TP there you go. That's oh, he gets sunstriked. Oh, oh no, what? The plays! The plays! Move. I wouldn't You're call genius. that a, I wouldn't call that a classic Jimmy, but it's pretty close. Is, is it okay to say that's still worth it because he ends the push? <laughs> I mean the push was ended, right? Yeah, Already. Yeah, oh man. You don't count on those plays. You, you, you can't game plan around assuming your invoker is going to go full ice, ice, ice and just snipe you in the middle of nowhere. I, I can't do it, LD, but can you give me like a classic Jimmy and like an Italian accent? No. No? <laughs> That's not, not a possible. Just... I don't even know what you're asking for. 
Why the Italian accent? I, I don't know. It just it just fits. Like, I that's think it's like more a, like a like a Mamma Mia moment, right? Like it's Mamma Mia. I think it's more like that's our Jimmy. <laughs> With you know you, you swing the arm. Yeah, like. yeah, I, I, I can see that word. That, that, there was a purpose to that though, like oh bottom lane. No, I don't like this one. Out of purpose. This. Yeah. He's trying to split push, but he pays with a sun strike and a death. Another kill for Moo. Sticky napalm stolen there. Probably the worst spell Ruby could ever steal. These are not the mistakes you could afford making at this point. I still say that Titan has a better late game, but they just lost their mid tier too. They lost their bottom tier too, and they hasn't got anything as of the, the past what, five ten minutes. You have a Shadow Shaman, you haven't taken Roshan yet. I gotta say, with the newbie map control, I don't know, man. Look at this goalie. It, it's becoming more and more insurmountable, it feels like. I think with equal farm like it, you give Titan the edge, but we're not looking at that. We're looking at Newbie, who's not leading by 7.5k gold. More importantly, they've broken every outer tower up in the tier 2 top. If they win one good fight, they're going for not one, but probably two lights in the so get the Age of Sound now. Manta's ready. And the Siege can begin in earnest. They can pop the Manta Illusion and just, with the with the Book 3, as well as the the Forge Spirits and Illusions, just start right-clicking tower. This Rubik is not having fun. Now he gets Adaptive Strike. Poor Sunshine, he just wants Strength Form, Waveform, I mean, anything except for Sticky Napalm and Adaptive Strike. And, well, sadly, it's just not his day. He has gotten the figure a few times. Adaptive Strike, at least, it's a stun-ish. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, I, it's good if he gets it after a Strength Morph, then it'll be a real stun. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But sadly, he's he's not looking at that. It goes off the Rubik stats, not the not the Morphling. Yes. Okay. I believe that's correct. Interesting. So, well, Ohio will farm in. I just think Titan have to, they have to play this a little bit more carefully. They're going for a BKB on KYXY. This is not going to help them split push. Oh, strike on that. Uh, he's he's not having fun. The Forge Spirits almost run him down. This, it's like, you know, when you watch Ice 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 play Invoker, some Ice will just kill supports with Sunstrike and Forge Spirits. Just those. Not even the hero. No Bulk Snap. No Bulk. Well, this is the last outer tower for Newbie now. Top lane, the assault begins. And Titan will, will wait out the attack on the high ground. It's hard to push base Dyer's because Earthshaker could just fallen. block. Because last two is a real thing. And then also, Mass Serpent War Traps uh, up the high ground is not where you want to be. So, but you can go in with the illusions and the forge boots, and you don't really have to commit your team. They'll begin the stall. The necro book is ready, and they'll pop it now. In comes down. He's gonna pop the manta immediately. Dyer's then gets viper strike. So this will slow down Very the push defensive man. wards. I mean, your army could go to the right side. I think if, it, if you're newbie, do you just wait out these? Wards you do. Go? You do. I mean, what? You, I guess the only thing to back for is you've got KYX by pushing in the bottom lane. Actually, mid push you as well. Essentially, though, you just wasted a massive war for nothing. The other thing is, well, the Roshan being denied to Titan. We talked about them having Shaman on the Dire side and be having access to Rosh, but Nubi are just controlling the game nicely. They're not only taking objectives, but they're denying Titan to crucial ones in their own Yeah, that, that mid fight where the tier 2 went down, that was really the, the game turner for me for now. Because that took away the Roshan ability for, for Titan. That wasted a bunch of cooldowns. And essentially, Titan are kind of going for late game with only Morphling. Yamate is a... Those are Hex on Moo. I just want to point that out. We're 28 minutes in, and this is almost late game Invoker. Jeez. Boots of Travel, probably the next pickup. I mean, they have a 10,000 goal lead, right? That makes sense. Yeah, and it's... This early of a Hex could really... The bat's going to have such a hard time getting in, as the Sunstrike narrowly misses him. You blink in, you just get Cold Snap, Lifted, Lucent Beam. Without a BKB, he really can't go in. He almost has to counter-initiate, I feel. Or he's got to find a very creative opening. Fireflies are cool now. And the wards are as well. And now, Newbie go for the high ground. It's a nicely placed Fizzer by Sting. This will stall the push. But still the illusion is checked. And the book can be spawned in five seconds. And here we go. The armor aura from the Wild Wing Ripper soon will end, but Moo's getting ready for round two. And they fight. They take down Dyer's the tier three. Now Newbie have access into the racks. They're trying for now. They can get the lasso. Moo slightly forward, but now the counter initiation from the Titan. The ravage connects on quite a few. Not finishing them off yet, though. BKBs from KYXY and Yamate allow them to hold to serve for the time being while they drive Hal back. BKB and the Fuse hasn't really accomplished much with this, and actually, a pretty excellent defense from Titan. Yeah, Extinct dies to Forge Spirits, which, nothing new. But uh, yeah, with the, the fact that they ha didn't have Aegis on... They didn't have wards, they didn't have Firefly when the fight started, and they still only lose the Tier 3. Yeah. I 
And that took Ravage Eclipse as well. That's where really you see Batrider as uh, why why he is co often considered as the best initiator in the game. Yeah, even when he even when he doesn't have a BKB, they just get him any. He still gets the initiation off. He yeah. just clicks in, lassos four steps, and by the time newbie are able to counter initiate, he's already drawn a hero near the tier four. So yeah. you're already in a, a terrible strategic position to take the fight. And that Ravage counter initiate is not really effective when. Your cores of BKBs, yep. Morphling as well as Viper. I mean, they don't really do that much damage at this point, but they do enough to actually kill off the, the weakened Invoker. Also, uh, that Eclipse hit nothing. One more, uh, when Luna used it, uh, the BKB were still on. It was a, a completely... It just turned into night time. That's yeah. it. That, that was the Eclipse. Yeah. Morphling and Viper were just happy to tank it up, but now Newbie may look for an engage anyway. They, also, they still have this hack, and they may be able to find some pickoffs rather than having to fight straight in. By the way, I do want to point out, Sungshung has more strength now, so we're looking at a, a very tanky Rubik for round two. And even if he's still a new ability, you still maintain that extra strength. That'll be nice for him. This is where you just buy like a, like a chain mail and you're like, well, well... Yeah, that's some value right there. Yeah. Actually, one thing I do want to point out, if you look at Extinct, the way that he's playing this game, every time he's fissuring, He's also, also supplementing an enchant with him afterwards. You don't want to give that Fissure to a newbie. It's just one of the most dangerous stuns in the game. And if Sanshin could pick it up, man, that's that's a big one. Uh, I think the most dangerous spell to give up is actually the ward. Yeah, yeah. If well, they give up the wards, they're definitely losing. They might anyway. Oh, I will go in. It's on to Sungjung, and he gets him up to the high ground. But now he's in turn two. Now comes the Fissure. Sungjung's still alive. Very tanky. It took a while to focus it down. And now KYXY dukes it out. But how thin strong. And there's simply too much right for tower. Now the wards get dropped. Can the Rubik steal his nothing? He's going to buy back, but he's still returning to the fight. Ohio, and of course, back. Now he's dropped. He's got Aegis here, though, and they will take their first lane of Rex. Newbie are a wrecking ball right now. One lane down, even with great defense from Titan. And now they retreat. Um, they might get a little bit more here. Mu doesn't have the Aegis again. The Aegis is going to reclaim. But the big Rex going to come through Extinct. He's dropping very fast. He needs to get in there and drop his Echo. No, he's going to die to the focus fire from Newbie. It looks like the push is going the other way. They see Yamate, and Yamate, he's gonna get Viper Strike, and he's gonna go down as a result. Yamate dies to the poison. Net comes in, he flips in, and he dies as well. That's three or dead. Three buyback cover comes from Titan. This is a very expensive What a dunk from Titan! They are still losing the fight, however. Now is still alive. Shaolin alive just a little longer. It looks like Luna's gonna pick up yet another kill. That is a very, very expensive hold, and they still lost the Rex. They quad bought back to get four kills, and they lost the lane of Rex. There was one buyback for Newbie. It was only the Rubik. Oh, that's brutal. And now Luna has Butterfly. We're, we're one item away from Hal reaching late game. Once he gets that Satanic, I think there's nothing. He's just gonna walk up to the high ground, and by the time they kill the Illusions, the tier three will be dead. Maybe get the Siege with the Illusions, the book, maybe some Enchantress creeps. Ugh. Is this desperation time? It, it, do, you, do you have to go for some smoke, try and just keep on picking heroes off? I think you, you should, because that's first of all the strength of your team and your items. You have, you have two blowings to your team, so that's a play you make. And if you could delay long enough to get to the next Roshan, which honestly, it's only like two to three minutes, and you get an Aegis on your Morphling, then there might be a fighting chance. So, Tanubi have yeah. just played so magnificently against the bat. I mean, when's the last time we saw an actual pickoff outside of a 5v5 clash? I can't even think of one, to and be the honest. target that they're picking off is like an Enchantress. Yeah, or a Rubik, yeah. and it's just not good enough. But this is where 5-man Dota, before the BKB comes out, is very difficult for the Batrider to counter. If he can't find his pickoffs, and he'll be have just done an excellent job of counter-initiating, of sticking together. And there's also a lot of targets you really don't want to go on as well, but that's, that's worth stating too. And speaking of, speaking of targets, Tide's about to get the pressure. We're getting to that point where you really can't ignore this guy at the fights. Not that they could before, but... Yep. How do you team fight against Double Rabbit if you're fighting? Well, Ohio is not fighting. Look at what he's doing right now. He's burning off the creep wave, teleports out, just but, delaying. But they've got one wave here. If they want to go, they can, though. It doesn't seem they're in any hurry. But that went online. I think you get number Roche number two here before you go for your second lane of Rex. I think, I think this is the game... Uh, I'm, I'm glad that you brought up the question of like Blink versus Aghanims on Shadow Shaman. I think this is the game where a completed Aghanim is much more effective. 
Because what you're blinking into, you're blinking into a Ravage. The blink does help them split push. That's the one thing that it offers net. Right. And I guess that's sort of keeping them in the game. But at the same... I, I would say <laughs> defending your base helps you win the game <laughs> as well. <laughs> and I think having more powerful wards. It, Lumi, th is that why they bring you in for these brilliant insights? It, it does. <laughs> defending your base <laughs> helps you win the game in a game literally called Defense of the Ancients. You know, I think Attack of the Ancients might be a better name of this game as well. Oh, this game is Attack on Titan. That's also a very good anime that people should watch. Do you actually like it? I thought it was like something that actual it, anime fans it's down okay. their noses at. I, I think yeah. it's overrated. Okay. Like definitely, definitely okay, like in top 10, but needs to go to more anime conventions too. Okay. A after this game, maybe you'll, you'll give me your top 10 list. That's an overused. Well, for now, Titan pushing through the bottom lane. A newbie will group up. Do they, do they go for... I think you just want the Roche here. They have scouted out. They've got an Enchantress creep in the pit. More creeps descending towards it. And so they know Titan aren't going for this now. And, and with that in mind, we are looking at a very farm Luna. Maybe it's a replicate from Morphling that, that Titan really need in the next fight. There's still no shotgun. We're already 35 minutes in. I think the Luna replicate is going to be there. One of their biggest damage dealers in the next fight if they can make one. And not get hexed. I would actually say it's a valuable hex target if you're Invoker and you see that the enemy has made a Lunar Replicate, you just hex it. Because uh, it does give the team a ton of damage. Yeah, and it instantly kills the Illusion as well. Well, Titan now on defense. Yeah, the most important item, by the way, for Titan to pick up is, is that Blink Dagger on Earthshaker. Because that is some insane burst damage such that you could last through the Earthshaker and blow him up. And if you could fight if Did I say the Earthshaker? I meant the Invoker. You last through him and then you blow him up and then you could Essentially take a 5v4 with Master Broom Wards and hopefully do a lot better. So Moo picks up an Ogre Club. Are we looking towards a, a BKB here? I think if he gets a BKB, that's... Uh, you can, in theory, you can last him before he does, but yeah, that's that's going to be much tougher to go on him at that point. I mean, I just think the Ogre Club in itself is not bad already, right? It just gives you the health. Maybe you survive a little bit longer. This could be a negative scepter as well, in theory, for Moo, but I just think BKB offers you so much against Titan. Still, physical damage is is really only going to come from the Morphling, and with a guaranteed Viper Strike available every fight, because Rubik can always steal it, Morphling can be kited. Hard. Not to mention the Hex, the Cold Snap. Morphling needs a lot more items. I think that's... They need time, they need the Blink on the Earthshaker, the BKB on the Bat, but more than anything, Titan just need Newbie to give them time. Yeah, and, and actually KYXY is creating a time, right? That's where the Blink Dagger comes in, uh, the Split Push, the Rat Dota, and for the past five, six minutes, we haven't seen a push. I'm surprised that Titan hasn't made a desperate play at Roshan, but that also shows their poise. They're down racks, but they're definitely not out of this game just yet. And they're scouting the pit, but they're sticking Napalm out just to make sure nothing too this unusual could be a great initiate. No. You find Mu and lift him up the cliff. But now Newbie are, are clustered. So who do you go on here? They draw more sticking Napalm. They will go in hell. They can pull him up to the high ground here. It's a counter initiate. What a jump. The power of the bat. Oh, this is why we always say that in late game. Attack. They're gonna buy back though. They know the last was on cooldown, and now they can just go into the pit. Also, by the or way, just down mid. the two illusions on the, the the base. Look at the base right now. It was just bouncing. Look at these towers. They're so low on health. I think the, the bigger thing is this buyback. This is a really Dyer's smart buyback. There's no blast for 45 seconds. Although the issue for how is he doesn't have boots and travel, and there's no one to TP, so he's got to walk his way into the pit. It's fine. If they can start the Roshan. Well, Axel might be up by the time that this, this actually hits him. Hexen, how they see him, the Necrobooks are on the high ground here, Ohio, but it looks like it's Shan Chun that's going to be out of position. Ravage on the Fissure breaks it up. They are going to get one kill. The mech's going to come in a little bit slow. KYXY, he waves in. He wants Xiao Mei, and he gets Xiao Mei before the Ravage. KYXY, is he going to die as a result? He's going to make it out. The duck is going to come in again. Moose dropping low. You got to get a kill on Moose. In fact, they do. KYXY back in the fight, and it's they kill Moose. Oh, one more time. Bananas dead! They're all dead! What is this turn? They gotta go back. They, they gotta just, defend. They just died back on the Luna as well! What a turn of events for Titan! Into the pit they march! Yamate's gonna take this! Extinct the hero of that fight for sure! Cancels the Ravage from the from the Titus he's about to get off. Then goes in for the free hero echo and chant of the ball. Earthshaker, it took for ages to get the blink. It was one of the latest you'll ever see. And yet it might just be the one item that breaks this game open for Titan. What positioning. Oh. And now, and now we've got ourselves a ball game. The gold grab's gonna dip. 
They are still down a lane of Rex, and one really bad fight, maybe two with the Aegis now, could still mean their entire base crumbles. But now Titan, backs against the wall, have a fresh Lisa fight. You know, the reason why we say Tai Hunter could always get off his Ravage is because of the Kraken Shell. But the way that they have perfectly changed their stun, I'm not sure whether intended or just luck. Whatever the case is, Ravage did not come out, and uh, that's the reason why they wanted to fight. It was just so amazingly done from Titan. Early when I said, all right, okay, Titan needs to get a Smoke Gang, they need to get Roche. I honestly b didn't believe it that it could be done because Newbie has been playing it so well throughout this portion of the game. But first, it was the, the kill on Luna. And I, I also thought the, the wars was an overcommitment on that kill, but the it fight afterwards, so yeah, the fight afterwards was just amazing. Boots of Travel, or uh, sorry, not Boots of Travel, but if he had Boots of Travel on the Luna, maybe could have gotten there in time before the lasso cooled down, but mm -hmm. this is bad. This is why teams ban Bat. Even now, even after his laney has been nerfed time and again, even after the mana cost increase came to, uh, what was it, to Flame Break? Yeah. Uh, lasso. Oh, Lasso. That's right. But it supplemented uh, the Blink. Yeah, with getting buff, right? This hero keeps on getting nerfed. Uh, yeah, the Blink Dagger has no mana cost now, so that's true, but it doesn't matter. Bat can always win you a game, and we see it here. Are they going to get a free tier two? That's the question. They're looking for a jump. Net. And ex Ohio, excuse and me. How dies again? He has no buyback for three minutes. Oh, I think How is the juiciest pick, man? You just go for it. They do have to double ravage to counter initiate. That's though. true. That's true. And the Red Firefly is going to wear off, so they're going to back it off. Like this observer one, by the way. We've seen this a few times now. I guess it's not brand new, but it is. It is a very interesting Radiant's board. Top tower is quite a bit. under attack. Just a, a parting blow there from Radiant the Morphe. He's beginning to see it, and they drop the wards. Newbie, all of a sudden. In a defensive posture. Titan knowing Dyer's that if they kill them, they're going to give up the mid rack. So, this. Ravage is going to come out right now. BKB not activated. KYXY, he does have the Ancient Immortal. He activates BKB. They want Tao dead. Tao activates Vansa, though. And it's KYXY. Titan, he's being focused. The Echo Slam comes in. They brought down two. And there's no buyback on Luna. She's out of the game for 75 seconds. Now, shall we? Titan, where there's a will, there's a way. And they might just claim racks off of this. Sangsheng stalling for time. He brought down the bat at the Dyer's end. Middle tower you push this? Attack. You just go? You just There's go and no go for the win? Back. I There's mean, look no at mid, though. Look at mid. It's so low. The tier fours are attack. in cadres, but they're going to perhaps go for the win. Enchant totem being used to supplement damage. Master of rewards in a full minute. Maybe you just go for a single Radiant's lane of racks, or you go for a double lane of racks. They can't no, go for double. They're going to so have to go pick back. one and then back. So it's not the game for newbie. If a tier two is down, it very well might be. But if they lose more here, they're just oh, making the next lane easier. Yes! Extinct will be the trade though. The towers bring him down, but it means all five dead. It means no more pressure on that mid lane for now. And <laughs> you that's why he's got building. building. I think so. That's a great play. And everybody's dead, right? So you might as well do a little bit more structural damage. That actually looked like it was going to go okay for Newbie because Luna got off her, her Eclipse and BKB. Mm -hmm. Then she was lassoed. And then Bat even pulled her towards his team. But it just didn't matter. They had the Aegis and the Morph we never even needed. And frankly, we haven't talked much about Yamate, but after the last fight, he's got an MKB. There's a shotgun in the base. They bring down the Enchantress, and now they'll retreat. So just some extra gold lining KYXY's pockets. And what was once a Luna with a 4 or 5k gold lead on the Morphling has now become a, a Morphling and a Viper, both topping the net worth charts. And now, this is this is where you want to have the Bat Morphling. You're 42 minutes in, you've got an even lane of racks for each team, and Anubi are forced into the defensive posture. Yeah, I, Titan was showing off signs of Navi, right? Like, this is what Navi always does. They, they somehow come back in a miraculous situation. They're one of the best fighting teams, fighting teams yeah. in the game. Yeah, I feel like out of all the, the non-Chinese teams, Titan and, and Navi are the two best at executing in team fights. Mainly on the back of support play from Net and Extinct in the case of Titan, which has been absolutely stellar, also especially great, the Earthshaker. Great Radiant's play from KYXY. Like earlier, attack. he was just replicating into the team fight without fear. And with that said, like KYXY, he still has the Aegis right now, so he's not afraid. He's going in, he's leaving charge. They have Master of the War for this base push, which they didn't have in that last fight. This could be the second lane of Rax, and if they get a Rax and a couple of kills here, that is just the game. No, no buyback on Luna, even though she's got the cooldown. She's a thousand gold short, which means if they kill Howe again, or if they kill the Tide, although he's not an easy kill, they won't have either for a long time. They hex up KYXY, but Yamate just throws out a casual Viper Strike. Okay, let's go he waves forward, he gets mech'd up. 
They don't really have to force this one. They can just bide their time, but, well, if they do that, they're losing their Aegis. Yeah, given the fact that it's an even lane rack situation, I think that's where the Blink Dagger really comes in handy from the, the both the Batman and Shadow Shaman, because you just play even game, you go for pickoff, you go for the last tier 2 on the bottom, and suddenly, I think having heroes like, for example, Enchantress is <laughs> just... Radiant's dead, bottom wait. tower is under attack. There they go. They're gonna take the free tier two bottom lane, and this means if they win a fight, they can take all lanes of Rex and sleep, or just go straight for first. Radiant's Still no buyback on Luna. Seven hundred gold short, but if she has to buy back again, Lumi, I feel like they might. They're just gonna lose anyway because she yes. needs more items if she wants to match up. The item progression for Hal is completely stalled. He was once a full tier four item up, and now we haven't seen anything besides this ultimate orb which he's had for 10 minutes and probably 25. What is Hal going for? Is that a oh, Scotty a or a Lingus? I'm not sure. Maybe Scotty? Lincoln is a bit Sprite. odd against all these single target nukes. Nets and Viz. They get cut out by Sunshine here. There's actually a gem on Banana, and now they start going to the end. So Net says, I'm going to war trap you. This means they won't have it for the high ground, but Sunshine does get caught. Trapped in the wards. He will fall. A one for one exchange. Use the war for it, though. Yeah. I'm not sure what that's worth, because the war basically what it gives you is the ability to instantly destroy any building. Which in this kind of late game situation, it's very valuable. The argument was he's going to die anyway, so maybe it didn't matter. Well, as we head towards late game territory, this is where buyback becomes very important. Roshan becomes ever, ever more important than it already is in the mid game. And mistakes can happen. It goes late, teams get tired, they lose focus for just a second it can cost you the game. So Newbie, they're just going to hope for some mistakes here. They'll play it defensively, wait for that next Roshan. And smokes, are there any available for now? That's something to keep an eye on here. No smoke for Newbie. It's still fully down in the shop. Titan, uh, let's see. They don't have any either, it looks like. So neither team really has the tools to get too aggressive right now. Well, I think without smoke, Titan could be more aggressive than Newbie. Again, yeah. goes back to the bat and shot. The bat more played. Yeah. So... I think No Smoke favors Titan. I do want to point out that Xiao A just foregone his buyback to pick up a Ghost Scepter. He is very, very adamant about getting off Ravages in the fight. He's not going to die. Yeah, that, at this, this is the point where the shotgun and the magic damage of Titan start to fall off a bit, especially against Tide, who's extremely beefy. Well, actually, not extremely, but he's got 1800 health, Kraken Shell, and the mech. It's not bad, yeah. yeah. He's pretty, pretty beefy. But also and at this point, this is where Titan has a physical damage. Yeah, something exactly. Like yeah. They've got the MKB on Yamate, and KYXY almost has his, in fact, has his butterfly. Uh, one, uh, once he saves for buyback, he might, he might have to wait a bit longer. But yeah, Titan, not out of the woods just yet. Yeah, don't call it comeback yet. Don't yeah. call it comeback yet. It, but, uh, it's got the makings of one, but this can all fall apart if, if Xiao Wei lands a miraculous two hero Ravage or something along those lines, and now mid. KYXY could be caught out here. They're wrapping onto him. Extinct's in reserve. They're going to BKB immediately to start this. And does he go in? He doesn't does he, wait for me. He has shotgun in his boat. He's waiting for the attack. Now goes oh, for how it's in. Ravage will fly. And for actually getting caught. They can rearm it and go again. It's the secondary Ravage, but he's transporting through it. He drops low. He will fall. They threw everything at him. Yamate now left on his own. He can't fight his way out of this. He'll drop this hole, but it's Luna. Luna. They got the Luna, and they double fly back. Now the Echo Slam. It connects on two. Sunshung looking to turn this to lose the Earthshaker with the two cores into the fight with no Luna for this. Oh, she can buy back, but she's not doing it. She, she's going to be forced to. Yeah, and she has to. Like, here comes a push. I think if you're Titan, you just go down mid. Unfortunately, there's big waves and they're chasing an Invoker. That is not the priority right now. Just go down mid and force a buyback. Well, well, there's no, there's no Roche either. There's yeah. just nothing here for Titan. Maybe thinking they can just take the Aegis, but they can either go straight down mid or do nothing during this time, except farm. I, I think Let's straight see. down mid is not quickly enough. They wasted a good 10 seconds. They double fall back on their carries. If Titan die any time in the next five minutes on these two, and the Luna, who's reserved her buyback, has an extra life, it can go completely KYXY the other also way. needs to finish his butterfly right now. He's not buying back. There's no point to reserve 2300 gold. A butterfly could make all the difference on this push. The courier is not doing anything. What is. Uh, uh, late game pressure is the only thing I have to say for that. Yeah, they're going to work on the tower right now. He's a little bit short of the, the completed butterfly, but they go with the hex. Now the lasso from Ohio, and he's found out Banana Pulse. The is way out of the base. Instantly dealt with. But they have to back him. There's two lives on the Luna right now. There's yeah. a buyback, and, and they really want the Roche. It's about to respawn, but what timing for Newbie. Right as Roche comes up, they've got the full squad outside the Enchantress ready to rock and roll. 
And they see it now. They see it now. They just pinged it. Yep. They got a DD rope. Oh, Three, this, is, this is exactly what the doctor ordered for Titan. Sunstrike check. They know it as well. This Roach is going to drop quickly, especially with full agility more. How, okay, X, y. how is running into the team fight? Looks like, I'm not sure what he's picking up. Looks like he's going to finish this. I have Scotty. A lot of health. Oh, Can they actually bring it down? They need to commit the mass server war. They need the damage because here There's comes... There's no Ravages, though. There's no three. Ravages for 25 seconds. Okay, the Frasier block is going to give him a little bit of time. Does the Roshan RNG bash is going to pop the DKB. Picks up the ages, but they're stuck in here. The last is going to come in from now. He does not have Master style. Can you throw some down? He he, he gets shotgun, I think, but how's Ryko? No, no ravages. They're still waiting. They do pop the agents, but they lose the Luna. She's gonna have to buy back. No, she doesn't actually have the gold for right now. Completed the Scotty. Oh, what a mess for Newbie. The ravages come too late. The Tide doesn't have buyback either, and this might just be it for Newbie in game two. They'll scatter to the winds. If you're Titan, forget about these heroes. Just push out the waves and go down the mid. Go for two lanes of Rax. You can even maybe just straight throw it, and that will be the play. They'll have one hero blocking the wave mid while top lane pushes in so they'll already have creeps inside the base there's nothing to wait for just go for it now luna completing an eye of scotty before that fight and newbie taking it with zero ravages was that the right play for them well, they might have felt desperate and like if they gave it away they'd lose but how are you supposed to win that fight without a single ravage i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm not sure where the tie was i'm not sure how how come he got couldn't get off a single one because it, it was cooling down for the, okay. the majority of the fight. So I don't think Both you, of them. I don't think you charge Radiant into the Roshan pit without having your two best team fight ultimates. Here we go onto the high Radiant's ground. Luna not able to rejoin attack. the fight for 20 seconds by whip. At least one more lane of Rex will have fallen. KYXY and Ohio they look for another lasso, but they really don't need to commit to these kills. The safe play is take Rex and maybe even just get out after that. Tide is respawning. There is a double ravage. Morphling buyback still cooling down. Yes, he's sitting on cheese and yes. Um, they, they did hold for now, but there's no reason to risk it for Oh, further. the range racks in 11 health! <laughs> Please! It's, range creeps! It's dead at some point. Well, for now, they it needed it to be dead now, though. Like Maybe it's a symbolic range racks. This will inspire the newbie troops. It's a, it's a moral victory for them, if nothing else. Here's the thing, though. Titan still has not won this game yet. I, I no. still think newbie can win this. One bad fight. If they just, they should just chill and wait for the buyback, honestly. Yes. Well, at the same time, though, if you chill and wait for the buyback, the enemy team chill and farm their buyback. You've got so, two lanes of Rax now with the Morphling. That, down. yeah. Your safe play is definitely to wait for the I buyback. I don't think there is a safe play. There's a safer play, I guess. At the, yeah, at this stage of the game, there's never a safe play. Anything can happen in late game Dota. It's really the Mariana Trench of, of Dota. It's just the unplumbed depths. We're not fully there yet, but we're going a bit deeper, Lumi, sinking into the abyss. Can we go deeper? Oh, we can always go deeper. Here we go. BKB finish on net, no buyback. This is pretty big, actually. That's a guaranteed I mean, full duration check on is it, Okay, if he gets Ravage, he's dead. Dyer's if if he blocks a Ravage from BKB, then yes. If he gets right click by Luna, he's probably dead. This so is an we'll aggressive see. push on the top, man. Newbie say, come and defend. We're Dyer's knocking on the front door and the Glaive start five. bouncing. They've made it their way on the high ground. They do have a lacrity on now. So he hits fast and hard, but no commitment yet. Ohio's got a lasso. But that, that wave on the top right now, over here on this lane, it's pushing in. They got to deal with that. Yeah, and as soon as they go back to deal with that, that'll give KOXY the time he needs for his buyback to pull down. Except Newbie aren't. They're going to go back in. They want to fight right now. But they've got to defend their base. The tier fours are under pressure, and they're not get, being given an Radiant's opening. Titan are just sitting on the high ground attack. and just waiting it out. I mean, what's the hurry, really? Newbie are going to go in. They've got Ghost Wall. They have a double hex on move. The refresher has been picked up. Maybe that can turn it. Yamate perched in front. He throws out a Viper Strike, definitely dodged by Hal. But they push in through mid, and this is not the one. Are they going for the throw? It looks to be the kick. KOX will be next up. Now he's ravaged one. He can be ravaged again here, and he will be. But they flashed on Hal. They pulled him deep into this fight. And with the PKB down, maybe they can focus and turn it. Morphine on the sidelines for 10, and they're going straight in. Extinct dropping low. The wards have been deployed to hold the base for now, while Hal is driven out. They've got no ravages left. They're on the back foot. The buyback for the Morphling, he does it immediately, and now they retreat. The tier fours are melting in the Radiant base. Titan do defend. Wards OP. Barely. No, KYXY was dead for a good 10, 18, 20 seconds because his buyback was cooled down on the latter end of it. But that Master Bit Ward, holy crap. There's it no, killed everything. There's no ravages. Do they yeah. have more buybacks on Titan is the question. The Shaker's got it. Shadow Shaman's got it. I think you just buy back on everyone and go straight for the win. I think so as well. You just go YOLO at this point.
You have the better initiator. The enemy team has almost no initiation to speak of. The Luna, point. the Luna, when she gets Viper Strike, can't do anything as well. Well, she's dodging them. She out, can dodge so, one, yeah. but then you just throw another ten seconds later. Yeah, I think I think the play is for Titan now is to go down mid, and almost even just force the throw. The safe alternative is to just try and wait for Roche because you are dire and you have the better split pushing lineup. But then, then it's it's one bad fight that can still cost you the game. I also think that with KYXY, the fact that there is no double ravage, that cheese is essentially an Aegis Immortal. So yeah, they can. Well, they do have double hex though. That's true. They have the refresher move once that cools down. At the same time, you're still going through like four staffs and fissures on on K Titan. Titan is taking this like a stroll though. They're they're not storming down bottom. They're not doing anything. They're just like okay. We'll I take do away. I do like this move. They're pushing in all the lanes. So it means if newbie actually win a fight, I don't think they can go straight for the win. Maybe if they wipe them, but if, I think they can. If I at least they have damage, dude. If at least the Morphling is alive, he can probably split push. So they get all the lanes pushed in. And there's still no Ravages for 30 seconds, even after doing this. So they'll have some time here with the Ward. They drop them in the range of the Tier 3, and Newbie will begin to defend. But Ohio snitching. He's got a blink. He got it. He finds half of all heroes. Who brought that? If they lose the Luna, there's just no damage. Now the Echo coming through. Still no Ravages. Titan finding their openings. They lose their Earthshaker. But now they've dealt with the rest. More fling. Well, he stands strong. Banana on the back foot. Herded back by Yamate. Cleaned up. Back to the well with Yusuf's yeah, so Titan. And this is going to be the third play to Red. And GG! Titan on the back of a miraculous pet and an insane Earthshaker. They force a game three. Southeast Asia's last hope survives the fight. Another game. What a comeback. One of the most amazing comebacks I've ever witnessed in competitive Dota. Wow. It was never even a huge gold swing, to be honest, but it was the, a 10, state, of the, gold. the state of the game oh was God. obscene. Well, there's no more words for this one. For those, you'll have to check out with the analyst desk. James, over to you. Woo!